Hey, Greg, my name is Jared. I work with Eddie at Dream Builders SEO. Um, and what we want to do is just kind of go through your website here real quick. We're going to talk about content, backlinks, citations. We're going to talk about the keywords that your site's ranking for. And then we're going to tie it all together with, you know, what does it mean to be ranking in Google and how do we, you know, control that a little bit. So real quick, we're going to look and see how many words you have of content on the home page here. So you can see you're right at 200. Uh, Google really wants us to have 300 or more, and we really recommend our clients to have between 1,000 and 1,500. Uh, and the reason being is we're really just trying to get found for more keywords. So the more content we have on our page gives us more room to really target these keywords, uh, and it just helps us kind of really build out that base of our profile before we start our SEO. All right, Greg, so as you can see here, we're on the back of your website, um, TemeculaAutoBody.com. Uh, you have one and a half thousand people per month coming to your website. I mean, I've got to ask, is there any any more traffic that we can get to this website? That is a very large number, but I think um, you'll be surprised where it's all coming from. So you're getting found for 38 keywords. We're going to go ahead and dive into that here in just a minute uh, and see what that looks like. And then right here, this is going to be your website overall score. So you're at a 15 out of 100 and a zero out of 100. So as you can see here, this is going to be your entire website. That's going to be the authority you carry with your website URL. And then this is going to be the authority and trust that you carry with those that you associate with. right? So you have 52 other websites that you have reached out to, asked them to host some sort of content of yours. That's going to be uh, you know, a picture, a citation, a blog, even just a hyperlink. Uh, and something like that's going to link somebody back to your website. So that's going to be these right here. So you have 52 websites referring you, uh, someone back to you 258 times. Uh, and then you see down here you're actually only at 7 out of 52 of your domains are being um, positive influences on your network there. All right, Greg, so I've got your keywords here pulled up. So as you can see, out of that 1,600 volume, we're actually getting 1,479 just to your website alone. So that's some pretty incredible stats. If I don't say so myself, uh, and you are sitting there in position number one. Like I said, that is literally your, your URL, um, so it's going to be very easy for you to be ranking for that. But then you also have a couple of other gems in here as well. Temecula Body Shop is a good one. Um, so you're getting, um, you're only on the sixth position, so you're towards the bottom of the first page, but you're still getting 11 traffic off of that. And then you have Auto Body Temecula and Temecula Auto Body Repair, where you're ranking number two for both of those. All right, so it's not all bad news. You definitely have some good things in here, um, but there's a lot more opportunity if we were to be ranking across the board for a large variety of these keywords. There's plenty of them out there. Temecula Collision, you already have a bunch on the website. So as you can see here, I've got the uh, Temecula Body Shop punched in here at the top. This is our Keywords Explorer of our AREFs tool. And what we can do here is just kind of see what the difficulty of the keyword is. So we can see it's actually a 2 out of 100, so very low difficulty as far as outranking these. And this number is based on the top 10 sites. So we'll see those in a minute, but this number is based off of real um, hard evidence. So 150 volume, $2.5 per click if you wanted to pay for an ad for that. And then here you can see we have a list of more keywords we can look through and kind of see if there's anything that applies to us. So view 20. And then over here, there's kind of some similar, but not the same. It's not going to have auto body and body shop necessarily. So um, view all 170 there, but a lot of those are not going to be what we're looking for, right? We really want to target auto body, body shop, and then Temecula. Yeah, Temecula. Um, to really target someone who needs our service in the location we're providing it. Then right here, you can see this kind of shows the ranking of the top five, but that doesn't do... A whole lot of good um, right here is where the money's at so this is going to be the top 10 if I were to punch the same word into the Google this should be the top 10 that we see um, you know give or take one or two spots it is a fluid um, you know is a fluid motion sometimes so right here at the top we got to see a uh, best 10 body shops in Temecula uh, top 10 best auto body shop and then right here is going to be our competitor so we don't want to compare ourselves to these. These are just going to be more of a blog type of a website, um, and they really are easy to outrank if we are a local business, right? If we're a blog competing with a blog, that's a different story. But as a local business, when somebody's searching these kinds of words that can very well be provided by a local business, Google knows that, 
and goes ahead and gives you a favor there. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at Temecula Auto Body and Repair and Paint Shop there uh, at cal CaliberCollision.com. All right, so I want to take just a minute here and talk about this website. So this is going to be a nationwide website. Uh, if I were to click over to my next tab, they have 655 locations. Uh, you can Google that if you want. But so you can see they're getting found for, or they're getting 192 people to their, to their website, getting found for 76 keywords, and then their backlinks and domain profiles very small, right? But then this number is massive. So this is going to be the trust rating of their entire website, um, but it's going to be getting carried over, or excuse me, their entire backlink and domain profile, but it's going to be getting carried over from the entire, um, you know, the, the original domain URL there. So what we want to do uh, is we really want to compare these numbers here as the similar type of thing that we want to be beating. And then we want to be looking at this number here um, because this is going to be giving us that overall kind of score, right? So really keep in mind that even though these are nationwide websites, they're not putting a lot of focus onto each location. So they have a very strong core website, but if you come in and compete with only one of their legs, uh, you can outpower that very easily. All right, Greg, that is all I've got for you. Reach back out to Eddie. Dream Builders SEO can help you get where do you want to be. All right, thank you guys. Have a good one. It could be help helping you move forward with this. So take care now.